Hello, welcome to a video on distance time graphs. So this graph here shows a school class's journey to the zoo and partway through the journey they stop for a picnic. So the first question to you is what time did the bus leave school? Well, they left school at nine o'clock in the morning. Notice on the y-axis here, the distance is zero. They haven't set off on their journey yet. They're just about to leave and they leave at nine o'clock in the morning. So the next question is, what time did they stop for a picnic? Well, they stopped for a picnic here, and the time here, if we go down, is 10 o'clock. And following on from this, how far had they travelled when they stopped for a picnic? Well, this is the point where they stopped. So if we just go along to our y-axis, our distance axis, we can see that it is this point here, which is exactly halfway between 40 and 60, which is 50. So the distance is 50 and our units are in miles, so it's 50 miles. Okay, the next question is how long did they stop for? Well, this is when they stopped at 10 o'clock and they carried on again at this point here. And if we go down, that is 10.30. So they stopped for 30 minutes or you could say half an hour. So the next question is what time did they arrive at the zoo? Well, this is when they set off again after they'd had their picnic and they're continuing on their journey until they get to this point here which if we go down is 11.30 and the final question is how far is the zoo from the school? Well the first part of the journey was 50 miles but then they carried on until we get to this point here so if we go along until we get to the line it's halfway between 80 and 90 which is 90 miles so it is 90 miles from the school to the zoo. So this is just an introduction to show you what a distance time graph looks like. So we've got time on the x-axis and we've got the distance on the y-axis. Now we can use a distance time graph to answer lots of different types of questions. So I'm gonna give you one to do yourself and I'm gonna give you a few questions to see if you can interpret the distance time graph. So Emma traveled to her grandmother's house and back and the distance time graph shows information about her journey. So this is the journey that Emma took to her grandmother's house and back. And what I'd like you to do is pause the video and see if you can answer these six questions. OK, so what time did Emma begin her journey? Well, this is when she began her journey and it's between seven and eight, exactly halfway between seven and eight in the morning. So that is 7.30 a.m. So question two, how far was Emma from home at 8 a.m.? So at 8 a.m., if we go up till we get to our line, it is at that point there. And how far is that from home? Well, if we go along to our distance axis, we can see that it's 20 miles. So she is 20 miles from home. So how long did Emma stay at her grandmother's house? Well, she reached her grandmother's house here because you can see that she stopped traveling and she sets off again to come back home here. So what time are these points at? Well, she reaches her grandmother's house here, which is at 8.30, and she sets off again here, which is at 10 o'clock. So how long is it from 8.30 until 10 o'clock? Well, it's one hour and 30 minutes. Or you could think about it as one and a half hours, or you could say 90 minutes. All of those times are equivalent. So question four, what time did Emma leave her grandmother's house? Well, we've just worked that out. We, she left her grandmother's house here, which was at 10 o'clock in the morning. Question five, how far was Emma from home at 11.45 a.m.? So we just need to work out where 11.45 is. So this is 11 and this is 12 and this is 11.30. So 11.45, well, that's exactly halfway between 11.30 and 12. So this is 11.45. So we just need to work out how what the distance is at 11.45. So if we go up, we get to this point here. So this is where she's at at 11.45. And if we go along till we get to our distance axis, it is this point here. And again, this is halfway between five and 10, or well, halfway between five and 10 is 7.5. So she is 7.5 miles from home, because remember, remember, this is home. Zero miles is home, she's coming back. So she's now 7.5 miles from home. And the last question says, how far did Emma travel in total? Well, to go to her grandmother's house, her grandmother's house was 40 miles away. So she traveled 40 miles to get to her grandmother's house, but then she came straight back. So she's traveling another 40 miles. So it's just gonna be 40 
plus 40 and that gives us 80 miles so in total she traveled a distance of 80 miles okay let's do one more of these so i'm going to show you one more distance time graph with a few questions for you to answer so a train travels from milton to redville stops for 30 minutes and then continues its journey onto leap the distance time graph represents this information so pause the video and see if you can answer these six questions so the first question, how long did it take the train to travel from Milton to Redville? Well, that's where it starts. It starts at Milton and it continues on to Redville. So it gets to Redville at this point here. So it starts at five o'clock and gets to Redville at seven o'clock. And that is a time of two hours. How far is Redville from Milton? Well, this is the time it's taken to travel and the distance it's taken. We're starting off at zero miles. And when we get to Redville, it is at this point here. This is exactly halfway between 80 and 160, which is 120. So it's 120 miles. Question three, work out the speed of the train for the journey from Milton to Redville. Well, the distance is 120 miles and it takes them two hours. So to work out the speed, we just do the distance divided by the time. So let's write that down. So speed is distance how far we've traveled in miles divided by the time how many hours it's taken so the distance is 120 miles and the time is two hours so it's 120 miles divided by two hours well 120 divided by 2 is 60 and it's going to be in miles per hour miles that's the distance per hour so the speed is 60 miles per hour question four how long did it take the train to travel from redville to leak well they stopped at redville for half an hour and then they set off again until they got to leak at this point here so they set off at 7 30 and they got to leak at 10 30 so the time it took was three hours how far is leak from redville well this, to go from Milton to Redville is 120 miles, but they're continuing their journey until they get to Leek, which is 240 miles away. So it's, although it's 240 miles away from the beginning, from Leek to Redville, it's going to be 240 minus 120. It's only this section here, and that section is 120 miles. And the last question, work out the speed of the train for the journey from Redville to Leek. So we know that the distance from Redville to Leek is 120 miles and we know the time it's taken is three hours. So to work out the speed, just like I did before, it's the distance divided by the time. So the distance is 120 miles. So it's going to be 120 miles divided by the time it's taken, which is three hours. Okay, so 120 divided by three is 40. And the units are going to be miles per hour. So hopefully this video was just a nice gentle introduction to distance time graphs and what they look like and how we interpret them. In the next video we're going to look at a few more but this time we're going to focus on the speed and we're going to calculate lots of different speeds from distance time graphs. I'll see you then.